Hey everyone, welcome to my video about where I'm at in my pregnancy so far. Um, I am 25 weeks and this video will be about the, like, the last two weeks-ish because I made a video about two weeks ago about how things were. So I'm not sure if I'll be doing them every two weeks or not, but that's what this is so far. So today I am 25 weeks and like two days, three days, somewhere in there. Um, main updates from last time is I have gotten a lot more uncomfortable since last time. I can't hardly sleep through the night just because I, my back aches, my stomach aches, my hips ache, my inner hips ache. So, it's been a lot harder sleeping recently, and then I've also been having to pee a lot more because I've been drinking, like, three of these, and then also other drinks on top of it, like milk, V8, stuff like that. I try to keep away from, like, pop and unnatural sugars, so I haven't even been really drinking that many, like, things like lemonade even that much. It's just been mostly, like, natural-ish, mostly, things. I've also been trying to eat healthier because I, when I first got pregnant, I was just so sick I couldn't hardly eat and then I just was eating whatever I could just so I wouldn't die, <laughs> essentially. And I laughed, but it's honestly true. Um, if I would have ate, I could have died, obviously, you know. Um, and I was hardly being able to keep liquids on, I, you know. A couple months ago, I wouldn't have even dreamed about drinking this much water, let alone, you know, drinking a bottle of water because it just always made me gag because I just, it was part of my uh, HG, which if you don't know what that is, I have a video uh, on my channel about it. And I also have a vocal, it's like a blog website, and I have an article I wrote about it down in the description box below, you read there. Um, but yeah, that made it really hard for me to be able to eat and drink, so I'm now that I'm actually not feeling as sick, I still feel sick sometimes. Like, I was feeling sick this morning, I had a headache this morning, I was feeling nauseous this morning. I didn't really want to eat even though I was hungry because I just felt like I might throw up. Uh, but I did end up eating and I ended up drinking some water and I ended up feeling better. I think just, you know, it kind of went away by itself because I didn't end up taking medicine. I was about to but I just didn't feel like I could get up because I just wasn't feeling good. My boyfriend's not home because he started in his new job. Um, so I'm going to have to start doing stuff more on my own unless I, if it starts getting bad to when he's gone I'll have to invite friends over or something when he's gone to make sure that I can get the help I need. But yeah, other than that, like, I've been trying to eat and drink healthy, or, um, I still kind of eat a little unhealthy just because, uh, I'll eat healthy, I'll eat something after I eat healthy that's, like, a snack <laughs> because I'm just not full. Um, like, I, I'll eat eggs a lot and stuff, speaking of once I eat. <laughs> yeah, I may or may not have just, uh, put eggs to boil like an hour ago and there was no water left when I went and just shut it off. Oops. Uh, yeah, but I've been trying to eat like just egg whites, not yolks because I have a high chance for high cholesterol. Uh, that was even before I was pregnant. So I try to stay away from high cholesterol things like that. Um, I've been eating, when I eat meat, I eat it in small quantities, but like not super small quantities because you still get protein from it. Yeah, I just try to stick to like fruits and vegetables with like eggs most likely or mushrooms as like the meaty part of the food and um, then my snacks are not usually healthy but that's just because they're snacks and uh, that's usually what I have. Uh, most of my healthy snacks I ate already. Yeah, I can't really uneat them. I needed to eat them then but I didn't eat them so. And um, I've been trying to work on my pregnancy fashion, I guess, a little more because a lot of the clothes I have that I've been wearing, um, they're fine, but 
didn't really fit the best because I'm getting bigger. Uh, this dress I'm wearing right now and all the other dresses that if you go on my Instagram, which I'll put right here and it's in the description below, always is, always will be. Um, you can look at some of the things I'm normally wearing when I take my belly pictures. It's usually just like sweatpants and tank tops and stuff. But then there's also like this nice red dress which I'll put right here. And then I also have a nice pink dress but I don't have that. I'm not going to go grab it out. It's just, I'll show it eventually because I plan on wearing it to my one of my baby showers because I'm going to have two because I have family upstate and downstate, you know, kind of thing. Um, this dress looks like this. This dress is just like, a, it's not a pregnancy dress. None of my dresses are pregnancy dresses. It's just, I always check to see if they have a little bit of give in the stomach area. So in a few weeks I should still be able to wear this. I might not be able to wear all of it until I'm do though because you know I'm pretty big at 25 weeks and I'm not huge but I'm bigger than some of the people I've seen and then that's where my belly is at right now so you know, he's getting pretty big other than that my nausea is mostly gone um, I do sometimes get it it's usually around the same time at night every night um, and sometimes in the morning um, so around like 8 p.m. ish I just sometimes get nauseous, and that's usually when I actually end up having to take my nausea medicine. Um, and I do still have vertigo, like I do have issues with that every once in a while, but it's not usually bad enough where I have to take my medicine for that either. I think drinking water and taking the iron pills has helped a lot with that, but it's still like, the fact that it's still around kind of sucks, even with, you know, drinking as much water as I do and taking the pills and all that, and then I've been taking my medicine every day around whenever I wake up and then around like five or six again if I wake up later then sometimes I take it later than five or six been wearing my belly band a lot recently I just hope I'm not wearing it today because I wanted to look cute and like I said fashion wise the main thing I've been wearing is dresses because you don't have to worry about if they fit your legs and your hips and your belly all at the same time. Um, I don't wear maternity clothes because I don't have any that fit well. All the ones I have fit in one spot and not the other or whatever or they're really ugly <laughs> and I don't want them to look like that. I'd rather be wearing sweatpants and tank top and look like that than look like a hot mess of mom to be. I also dyed my hair. I don't know if you can tell that it's like a purplish, reddish color, and then like towards the bottom is still that color it was before. Um, this is also my natural texture, not my natural color, my natural texture of hair. I didn't do anything special to it, so I'm thinking that our kid will probably have this kind of texture to his hair because his dad also has like semi-straight wavy hair. His hair is actually straighter than mine is and he's Mexican. So we'll see what kind of hair he comes out with. Hopefully it's not anything too crazy because I know how to deal with this a little bit and I know how to deal with my boyfriend's kind of hair. But I'm not so sure how to do wavier than this or even like curly hair. But you know, you never know. Um, we do have a name picked out, but we're going to wait to announce it to most people until later, to like um, around the time of the first baby shower, which is in May, and it's only March, so I'm sorry you'll have to wait, but we do have a name that we're pretty sure we're going to use. Um, the middle name is more of what we're unsure about than the first name, but you know, I think the more that we say it, the more that we'll like it type of thing. Like. It's the name that we're pretty much thinking not doing, but we're just not 100% sure on the middle name. But he likes it, I like it. It's very unique. A lot of people who do know what it is already, they like it. Uh, there's a couple people that are a little bit iffy on it. They're like, eh, it's kind of a weird name. And I'm like, I don't care. It's a cool name. Like, I don't want a, or a normal name like Bob and John and all that stuff. Or a normal Mexican name like, you know... 
Diego and stuff like that. I'd rather have a unique name and so does my boyfriend. And he is also more into unique things. <laughs> I guess is a better way to say it. And I'm into unique things. So yeah, that's what the plan is. Or that's a name update I guess for you. Is that we pretty much have the name picked out and everything like that. But we're gonna wait to tell the whole public until probably May. Most of the people who need to know already know it though, like my mom and stuff. And his mom I think knows, I'm not sure though. I, know his, I think his dad knows. He still kicks a lot. He kicks even more than he was a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think that's part of what's making me uncomfortable because he tends to kick a lot at night and I know he's gained weight for sure because I can like, I can physically feel that he's gotten bigger. Not just that I've gotten bigger, but the baby I'm carrying has gotten bigger. And his kicks have been gotten, like gotten harder and like covering more space. Like it feels like when he moves his arm, it covers more space and like when he kicks, it feels like it moves further away from him and stuff like his legs have gotten longer and stuff. And um, so... I know that he's bigger. I, I know I'm probably going to have a big baby. I don't know if I said this in the last one, but I can just tell that I'm going to probably have a big baby. Just just like I could tell that I was most likely going to have a boy. Um, it just kind of, it's kind of genetic with the bigger baby thing. The boy, the boy thing is not as genetic, but um, actually it's not genetic at all. Because it doesn't go by my genetics. And it kind of, kind of is genetic on his side, but not really. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna have a big baby, and yeah, I'm pretty. I feel pretty uncomfortable at 25 weeks. I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like once I get to like 35, 30 plus weeks. It's probably gonna be agony. <laughs> oh, also other good news, along with feeling better, I've also been able to clean and stuff a little more. And like, um, I finally did dishes for the first time since I've been pregnant uh, the other day because I was finally feeling good enough and the smell wasn't bothering me of like, you know, old food. So I finally was able to do dishes and sweep and etc, etc. I had to take a lot of breaks though. But, um, if you have HG, I just hope it gets better for you too because like, I know it's probably going to get worse again, but I'm just happy that at least for a little bit of my pregnancy I got to feel normal-ish, even though I'm still a little bit sick. Hopefully you liked this video and hopefully I didn't ramble too much. And hopefully you liked the change of scenery. I just like the lighting in here way, way better. If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, if you want to see this again, essentially, please comment down below if you would like me to make another video in about a week or two. And, yep, yeah, have a good day.